Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be breaking down the NHL DFS slate for Wednesday, January 11th. We got ourselves just a four-game slate here tonight, where I'm going to go through a couple of my favorite line stacks, some of my favorite individual plays, and some of my favorite value plays, and then we'll wrap up the video talking a little prize picks. With that being said, let's dive into my spreadsheet here. And we're going to kick things off here like we always do in the top left-hand corner with those highest implied game totals, where you can see two of these games are coming in with an implied total of 6.5 goals, the other two games coming in at 6 goals even. And then take a look down here at the Vegas odds, where you can see the Oilers, Kings, Leafs, and Capitals are all favored to win tonight. And as a reminder here, here is what my content schedule looks like for the remainder of the week, putting that up on the screen here right now. With that being said, let's dive into a couple of line stacks that I like here for tonight. Now, being that it's just a four-game slate, obviously condensed player pool, and I'm not overly thrilled with too many line stacks in general, I'll probably be approaching this tonight with some power play stacks and even some mini stacks as well. You can set, put that in the notes off to the right-hand side. But one line that I do like with some high upside is that first line for the Toronto Maple Leafs. We got Matthews centering Bunting and Nylander. Now, do keep an eye on the status for Matthews. He did not practice on Tuesday, and he very well could be a game-time decision. Haven't got any word here as of this morning, so I'm going to roll with it as of right now. Because this line has been very good, especially at home. They've combined for 29 goals, 36 assists, and 21 home games this season. We're going to see Matthews and Nylander play up on the number one power play. Bunting will for sure play on the number two power play, but he's even been sprinkling on that number one power play as well. And they're just going to play big minutes together five on five. Like I said, in terms of line stacking here tonight, not overly thrilled about it, but this line here does have some really nice upside. And then a cheaper line stack that I really do like here tonight is that second line for the Los Angeles Kings. These guys play big minutes together here and I'll play on the number two power play. So it's a very strongly correlated line stack. You got Philip Deneau centering Alex Iafalo and Victor Arvidsson. Good matchup here tonight at home against the San Jose Sharks, who are not only playing on back-to-back -back nights after playing in Arizona last night, but this is a team that's given up 3.64 goals per game this season, the sixth most in the NHL. And so in terms of the price correlation and the minutes that they play, I really do like this line stack here. Now, folks, before we dive into some of my favorite individual plays here, if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. For those of you on Discord, I am running a channel there as well, talking all sports really, but it is primarily focused on the NHL side of things. Got people talking DFS and some prize picks too. If you want to join that, there's a link to do so in the description below. All right, now diving into some of my favorite individual plays here, I mentioned not thrilled about the line stacking here tonight, but what I do like doing is some power play stacks in mini stacks. Again, I put that in the notes off to the right-hand side. One mini stack that I like here is Leon Dreisaitl and Zach Hyman of the Edmonton Oilers. Look, it's going to be hard to fade Connor McDavid against the Anaheim Ducks, a team that's given up more goals than anybody else in the NHL this year at 4.07 per game, and a penalty kill that's just been awful as well, hitting at a 71.4% rate. And this is a team that is not afraid to take penalties either. They've taken the second most minor penalties in the NHL so far this year. So again, going to be hard to fade Connor McDavid on that first line, but I do like the correlation we get between Hyman and Drysaddle here. Not only are they more affordable than McDavid by almost $2,000, but they play on the second line together, and they both play up on the number one power play, which has been very good for Edmonton this year. And again, we should see them on the power play a handful of times here tonight. Just looking at the stats here for both Drysaddle and Hyman on this season, both are averaging over a point per game. Both are at 20 goals already ready at the halfway point of the season. You can see here Hyman does shoot the puck a little bit more, but Drysaddle does get on the score sheet a little bit more. Either way, these guys are both very capable of putting up big points, especially in a matchup like this. Now, another mini stack I'll be targeting here tonight is on the Los Angeles Kings side of things that starts with Kevin Fiala here, and then Gabriel Velarde, who I got listed as a low-priced option. We'll talk about him later, but both those guys currently playing on the third line and up on the number one power play. 
Fiala's had some really big games here, especially as of late. Pulling open his past 10 here, but look at his past four. He's racked up five goals, four assists, and I really like the way he's shooting the puck right now. If he keeps that up, he's going to find himself on the score sheet more nights than not, especially in a home matchup like this against the San Jose Sharks. Now, with these last two plays here in the 4K range, these are more so targeted towards the tournament or GPP side of things. Probably not two guys I'm going to put in my cash lineup or wouldn't myself. They do have some nice upside, and we've seen that here out of Mason McTavish as of late. He was recently bumped up to that first line and still playing on the number one power play. He's got five goals, five assists, ten points here in his past ten games. And he really exploded two games ago where he racked up two goals, two assists, four points, 34 and a half DraftKings points. And the game before that, he wasn't bad either, showing his upside. One goal, one assist, four shots on net with 26.4 DraftKings points. So again, a really nice ceiling there for a guy priced at $4,500. Again, part of the reason I like him on the tournament side of things, pulled open his game log here over his past 10, and you can see he's had some really nice games. And I don't even mind the matchup here tonight against the Edmonton Oilers, who are by no means a defensive juggernaut. And then we got TJ Oshie there of the Washington Capitals. This is truly a boom-bust type of play. Again, part of the reason I like him on the tournament side of things versus in my cash lineup, he does have some really nice upside, someone who could go for 25, 30 plus DraftKings points, but he could also finish the night with 1.5 DraftKings points. Like I said, truly a boom bust type of player. He plays on the second line, but plays up on the number one power play, and that's primarily where I'm targeting him. Of his seven goals, six assists, 13 points this year in 26 games, he has missed some time due to injury. He's racked up six of those 13 points on the number one power play, so that really makes sense to stack him up with those forwards, or even someone like Eric Gustafson, who I'm going to talk about here in just a minute. But they got a good matchup on the road here tonight against the Philadelphia Flyers, who are one of the worst defensive teams in the NHL. Now, moving over here to the defense, man, I'm going to continue talking about these Washington Capitals here and really that number one power play for the Capitals, which has been very good here since the holiday break. In their past seven games, they've scored at a 31.3% rate. That's the fourth best in the NHL over that time span. And Gustafson's currently playing up on that number one power play and really just playing more minutes in general, being that John Carlson is currently on the IR. And Gustafson is making the most of his opportunity. You can see here in his past 10 games. He's racked up four goals, eight assists, 12 points. Not bad at all. I know his price is increasing. This was a guy we could play in the 3K range just a couple of weeks ago, but still 12 points in his past 10 games. Still going to go to him here at this price tag of 5,100. And really that's the same approach with these next three defensemen as well. Stacking them up on the number one power play. I don't want to cut this short, but I also don't want to sound like a broken record. You know, someone like Tyson Berry. Again, good matchup here against the Anaheim Ducks, who take a a lot of penalties are bad on the penalty kill. Tyson Berry has 29 points this year. 20 of those have come on the power play. It obviously makes sense to stack them up with guys like Connor McDavid, Zach Hyman, or Leon Drysuttle. Morgan Riley, same thing there, stacking them up with guys like Matthews and Nylander, or you could even go to that second line with John Tavares and Mitch Marner. You could do little three-man stacks there, or hell, just target the number one power play in general. That's going to be very expensive to do on the Toronto side of things, but it would likely make you contrarian too. And then Sean Dursey, getting a little more contrarian there for sure, stacking them up with that second line that I highlighted earlier, being that all four of those guys play on the Kings number two power play. And I should probably close this off here. You notice all the guys that I highlighted are in the four to low 5k range. That's primarily where I want to stay on the defensive side of things here tonight. Again, stacking them up with forwards on the power play. But if you do need to kind of punt at this position, I do got a few honorable mentions there as well. Guys, that can get us double-digit DraftKings points. It's been a while since I've said this, but any player that I'm playing in the 2 to 3K range, if you can get me 10-plus DraftKings points... I'm usually satisfied with that. And then I got a couple of goaltenders here for you, a higher priced and lower priced option. Being that it is just a four game slate, there's probably a case to be made to roster any one of these goaltenders. I'll probably be avoiding the Ducks goaltending situation as well as the Sharks goaltending situation, unless I'm looking to get super contrarian here tonight. Uh, but again, being that it is just a four-game slate, there's probably a case to be made to roster any one of these goalies. It really comes down to what the rest of your lineup looks like. Now, if I want to spend up here tonight, Phoenix Coldplay seems to be the safe kind of play here tonight. LA sitting nice on the money line at minus 220. I've been playing some solid hockey as of late, and really Coldplay's been solid for them 
them all year long. He's not an elite goaltender by any means, but he does win games. He's now 11-2-0 on the season with a goals allowed average of 2.56 and a save percentage of 0.904. Now as for UC Swaros, this is probably more of a tournament play for me, but man, if Austin Matthews misses here tonight, we could probably play him in our cash lineup considering the price here at $7,300. He has been one of the best goaltenders here really over the past month. He's gone 6-2-3 and three during that stretch, but his numbers outside of that are absolutely fantastic. A goals allowed average of 2.06 and a save percentage of 0.943. You know, obviously I don't want to stack up that number one line here of Matthews, Nylander, and Bunting against UC Soros, but if I do want to kind of fade the Toronto side of things, UC Soros is a goaltender that I'll definitely be targeting at that price. And as always, going to wrap up this spreadsheet here with three low-priced options or sub 4k forward plays. First guy I got there is Nino Niederreiter of the Nashville Predators, currently playing on the third line in number two power play. He's been playing well here as of late. He's racked up two goals, six assists, eight points in his past 10 games. Not bad at all for a guy priced in the 3k range. He's also been averaging around three shots on net per game and ten and a half DraftKings points per game. And honestly, the Toronto Maple Leafs don't scare me defensively. This is probably a game that they should win, especially if Matthews does play. But since the holiday break, they've allowed 3.57 goals per game with a penalty kill that's hit at just a 72.7% rate. Those aren't necessarily great numbers. Next guy I got there is Gabriel Velarde of the Los Angeles Kings. Name dropped him earlier when I was talking about Kevin Fiala because they do make for a nice little mini stack playing on that third line in number one power play. Velarde now has three goals, six assists, nine points in his past 10 games. Again, not bad at all for a guy priced here in the 3K range. And then Joel Farabee there of the Philadelphia Flyers playing on the second line in number one power play right now. He's got two goals, two assists, four points in his past four games. He is a very streaky player, someone who can go for 20 plus DraftKings points, but could also get you 1.5, kind of like TJ Oshie, but he has seemed to have found a little hot streak here as of late, so I'm not going to be afraid to ride that out here, especially in tournaments. And then to wrap up this video here, want to talk a little prize picks with you guys. Now for starters, if you have not signed up for prize picks yet, but you want to get in on this action, I got a promo code that you should definitely take advantage of. When you're signing up, use my promo code GRIFF. G-R-I-F-F, -F, and Prize Picks will give you all the way up to a $100 match deposit. And the nice thing about Prize Picks is they match that deposit right away. So you're legit playing with free money or house money from these guys. You don't have to earn it back as a bonus like some of these other DFS sites. Not here. And you don't have to put 100 bucks in either. If you want to put in 50, they'll match 50. You want to put in 20, they'll match 20. They will match anything up to $100. Again, as long as you're using my promo code GRIFF. G-R-I-F-F -F, upon signing up. But for those of you who are on prize picks, obviously you know the plan of attack here. I'm going to go through, do my research today, let you know my final picks in a comment below on this video, and I'll be sure to pin that comment as well. And don't forget, I am posting those picks in my Discord too. If you want to join that channel, there's a link to do so in the description below. Alright everyone, that is going to wrap up this video here for today. As always, thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch Watch the content here on this channel. If you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. Let's have ourselves a great day here, folks. Let's win some money on this four-game slate. In the meantime, I'm out of here.